the end of the Real Housewife of Orange County was here and now they're all friends. Is Shannon and Tamara Judge going to be friends again? What is happening here? We need to talk about it. But before we start, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. If you are new here, Welcome to the Verbally Troop, where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture street and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. And guys, before we start, we need to let you know that if you want to get a personalized message from me, to you or to someone that you love that is part of the verbally troop or if you want some advice or if you want just to like talk about some tea or whatever or even maybe you want like a, a one-on-one conversation now you can book me through cameo okay the link is on the description below it is an amazing way to support my channel and you get something great and fun in return okay so go to the link on the description and get your cameo right now all right, guys, so let's talk about this mess. Girl, the finale of Orange County was here. That reunion, it just gave us everything, you know? But people are kind of like having concerns, which I will agree with some of them, but also we really need to explore what is happening over here, you know? Uh, Two of the big things, of course, like, yes, we have the whole Alexis situation and all of that, you know, but in reality, one of the big things of uh, of this season was the friendship between Shannon Bedore and Tamara Judge, you know, and we get to see once again, the two of them hugging it out, you know, and, and kind of like finding somehow some kind of resolution, right? This is not the first time that we have seen this, okay? We have seen them hugging many times before. We have seen the, the Tus Amigas, the Tres Amigas, uh, all of them going back and forward, forgiving each other. And, you know, people are calling it out, saying, like, are, is this going to, are, are you, like, toxic, you know? Like, is this, like, a toxic friendship that you are never going to be able to really escape? Uh, I wanted to like talk a little bit about that because yes, it could be, I mean, it is a big possibility. At the same time, I have always said uh, during this season that I thought that Tamara Judge definitely went way below the belt on many, many occasions. But I am not, I am not a person who, uh, who is on the I hate Tamara train because I have always given Tamara her flowers. Because I have always believed that she is a great asset to the show. You know, I was one of the ones with many of you who begged Bravo to bring Tamara back after she was fired. You know, I believe that this season there was something that a lot of people don't want to really accept or understand. And it is that the friendship between Shannon Bedore and Tamara Judge has been very volatile, but very real for many, many years. Okay. With Vicky Gumbelson. Now, they... I don't know if people will understand this, but everything gets like very amplified because of the TV and because of the kind of friendship that they have. Uh, but I, they go so hard against each other because honestly, kind of like they really love each other, you know? And I think, um, you know, the contrary of love is not hate, it's indifference. You know what I mean? But what, what if you are hating someone is because there's still feelings in there, you know, and it's kind of like t letting you know this is why you are so hurt because you you care so much about that person that you don't know how to control these feelings of disappointment or whatever is going through your mind and then it becomes a huge mess. And I think watching what happened at the reunion, it was not an I love you, I forgive you, and we're going to be BFS from now on. But it is going to it is going to be very hard for anyone to go and tell Shannon or Tamara completely forget about the other one because there is a lot of feelings in there. There is a lot of friendship, a lot of memories through many, many, many years. You know what I mean? So um, if anything, it kind of like finally show the Tamara that we love or what that I love. You know, I think yes, Tamara went extremely low this season. I have been the first one to say. 
why are you acting this way? Why are you being so nasty and so mean, you know? But in this last part of the reunion, we could see a different side of Tamara, especially with the, the little reunion that they have that they film, that they show at the end, end of the reunion, you know? It's this side of Tamara that is actually soft, you know, and it's actually her true self, you know, where she is kind of like saying, I really care for you. I really love you. But at some point, I also have to protect myself. And Shannon was doing the same thing. You know, she was also saying, I need to live in my truth. I need to live, to to know that I'm doing better. And I need someone who is really going to support me right now. And Tamara was not giving her that support. But the friendship and the love, it's always there. So to me, I, I just think it was a mix of everything. You know, it was a mix of like being extremely hurt. I think it was a mix of, of course, getting so much backlash from the public, you know, and everyone saying like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this is your friend. Why are you acting this way? And it's also a mix of like all of the girls probably telling Tamara, like, you are being an asshole, you know, so you need to really turn it down because why are you going so hard? And also the fact that we are on a reality TV show, you know, and I think and I think for longstanding housewives, it's very hard to shut down that producer ship on their heads of what it will make great reality TV. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's also their job. So it's kind of like a mix of everything, but it doesn't make the friendship less real. I think there is, a after watching that finale, it really gave me the sense that, okay, these two definitely are going to be able to film together. You know, they, are they going to be best friends uh, like they were before? I don't know. Just time will tell, you know, and so time heal all wounds, right? So time will tell, but they definitely now gave us the sensation, especially with the core five right now, which is with Heather Dubrow, Emily Simpson, and Gina Kirshenheit, all hugging each other, all say we do love each other, is basically telling us, oh, we can film, you know, we can be together. There is no toxicity like there is in New York, you know, because one of the things that people were asking is like, if this become so bad, like New York, I'm sorry, New Jersey, not New York, like New Jersey, then they're not going to be able to be in the same room. Then it's going to be the same mess that it has been proof. The viewers don't really like, you know what I mean? Um, which I still think it's a little bit shady that they didn't invite Jennifer and Katie because they are part of the future of the show. You hear that, okay? But it's, it is the core five, you know, they are like the, like the friends, you know, right now. And, um, and yeah. I think it's a beautiful thing. You know, I think that that's kind of the things that the show also wants to highlight, you know, and it's like the sisterhood and the love, you know, and the fact that once a housewife, always, always a housewife, I'm somehow, I'm somehow we are going to get each other's back, you know. We're going to keep you accountable when you do something wrong, but at the same time, we are not going to, like, completely dismiss you, okay. So I think that's what I take from this uh whole situation i know a lot of you are very angry with tamara i know a lot of you want her to be gone you know and, and that she really went way below the belt right now but this is one of those situations where i'm going to be telling you if shannon and the rest of the ladies are willing to move forward with tamara over this and they believe that tamara is being honest then who are we to keep judging you know what i mean and if tamara co continue returning it's going to be what it is, you know. To me, right now, Tamara is not yet yet on the Lisa Rena status. She was very close, and if you watch all of my reviews, especially during the last few months where we talk about Tamara, I was very annoyed at her, you know. And I say many times, "Be careful, Tamara. Be careful because you don't want to be the next Lisa Rena. You don't want to be the next Kelly Dodd. You know, you don't want to get to that space, right?" And I think she did a good job at the reunion. Was it fake? Was it real? We will have, we're going to have to wait and see how we landed in the future and in the next season. You know what I mean? But I, I, I like to see this softer side of Tamara, you know, because I believe that this is who she truly is, you know, when she kind of like disassociate for a second from the reality TV persona and let us in into like her real feelings and who she really is. You know what I mean? 
So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Orange County or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.